Hello everyone. Welcome you all for another episode of INT in 15 powered by WSO2 INT server. Today I am going to talk about passwordless authentication with magic links which is one of the features that we recently released with WSO2 INT server version 6.0. I am Ashen Vyarthunga. I am an engineer in the WS2 IND and access management team. Okay, before moving into passwordless, let's see what's wrong with passwords. Do you recall what was your first password? It was probably something that you could easily remember, such as your birth date or the name of your pet. However, as you created more and more online accounts, your passwords grew more complex and difficult to remember. It's a, it's a problem that many people face. As a result, many of us tend to reuse the same password across many accounts, exposing our personal information to theft. According to data fraud, following are some of the interesting facts about passwords. 90% of the internet users are worried about getting their passwords hacked. 53% of people rely on their memory to manage passwords, which is again very difficult with all the complex password patterns and policies. 51% of people use the same password for both work and personal accounts, which is very risky. 57% of people who have already been scammed in phishing attacks still haven't changed their passwords. The password 123456 is still used by 23 million account holders. So due to these reasons, it's important to think about additional ways to enhance the security of your personal accounts rather than depending only on passwords. And if we consider the user experience as well, it, uh, the experience that you have to enter username and password every time, it's, uh, it's not uh, a good, very user experience. So due to these reasons, the world is exploring various different technologies to allow users to log in without passwords. Fido is one of the popular passwordless mechanism but uh, the, to use the FIDO as passwordless login option, you need to have a FIDO compliant device such as Ubiki, Apple Touch ID or Windows Hello. So Magic Link is a viable alternative for all those who do not want to use FIDO. It is also a passwordless authentication mechanism. Let's say John wants to log into his uh, web application. So when he tries to log in, he will be asked to enter his username. So then the ws 2 int server will send a link to John's email address. This link is called the magic link. So that John can seamlessly log into the application by clicking this magic link. Okay, let's see how this works with WSO2 ID server. Okay. If you go to WSO2 ID server documentation, in the password login section, you can find both FIDO and Magic Link login uh, details. So if you go to password test, login with magic link uh, section you can find all the steps that you need to follow to enable magic link login option for your application so first you need to download the ws 2 ind server product if you haven't done it already and then also as a prerequisite you have to configure the email sending module uh, since we need to send the email to a user's email address and then also you can follow these uh, steps and easily configure your application with WS2 anti-server. So 
I have already done these steps uh, for this demo since I have little time so so then if you haven't downloaded the product already you can go to wc2.com and uh, ID server page and you can click get started and then you can provide your corporate email address and then you can download the product binary uh, product binary or also you can download uh, windows so mac os installers as you prefer okay so i have uh, download and started the ws2 and server product in my locally here and also i have the sample uh, sample application running here uh, in the tomcat pickup dispatch application this is the sample application so okay so this is the ws2 and server management console login page let me uh, log in first and uh, here if you go to the service provider section or the application section so you can configure an application here so you can you can easily do that so here i have already configured the pickup dispatch application uh, which is a uh, and can i configure the open id connect protocol if you can see this configuration and we just have to configure the callback so this is my uh, application callback url and uh, the required grant types and everything and then uh, so if i uh, by default if i click the login i'll get this default login page which is which is to enter username and password right so let's see how we can enable magic link login for this application so in the same uh, service provider configuration i can go to local and outbound authentication configuration section so here as you can see currently we have the default authentication option enabled so for this magic link i have to go to advanced configurations in this advanced configuration as the first step you have to configure the identifier first as the first step this is to uh, get the users username right so and the second step will be the magic link authenticator this will send and yeah this will generate a, a magic link and will send to uh, the users uh, email address okay so you, you just have to configure these two steps that's all and you can click update and click update here as well okay now let's see how the experience for john or before that i have to show you so you need to create the user as well and also important you have to configure the email address of the user so here i have already configured john uh, and added the john uh, to the uh, as a user and if you go to the john's profile you can see his email address is configured here right so the magic link will be generated and sent to this email address when john tries to log in okay let's go to pick up dispatch application and log in again you can click login and okay now i am only getting to enter the username so this is com coming from identifier first step so I can enter uh, John as the username and click continue and now I'm getting this notification check your inbox click the link we sent to your email to sign in use the same browser to open the link so that is again important so the magic link will work in the same browser okay, let's log into John's uh, Gmail account and to see the magic link that we have received Okay, I have logged in to John's email account and I have received the email from ws 2 int server. Uh, okay, hi John, please click the button to sign in to pick up dispatch. That is the application that I am trying to log in. Be sure to use the same browser as you have. Okay, I can click this button to sign in or else uh, I can just copy this link and paste it in the browser as well. 
also this uh, magic link has expired time of five minutes uh, you can configure that as well uh, so you have to make sure we are using this link within this uh, before it expires okay I can click sign in okay just like that uh, I'm getting redirected to the application and seamlessly logged in as John okay so that's how you can easily configure the magic link for your application as a passwordless authentication option so if you want to uh, know further details you can refer our documentation and try it out so that's all i have planned for today's demo so if you have any questions you can ask you can ask these questions in our community channels such as stack overflow or discord channel our product then our product team will help you out in any time okay thanks a lot for joining for today's session we'll see you next time in another episode of i15 goodbye